Prophets. One of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ asked him the issue that his parents had passed off and what right does what right do they still hold on him? Hazrat Abu Usaid Sa'adi Raziallahu Ta'ala and who reports in Abu Da'ud and Ibn Majah that the Prophet was sitting with his companions and a person came and he was from the tribe of Banu Salma, the messenger says, uh, the narrator says, and he said that, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, are there some rights of my parents on me which I have to fulfill even after they have died? That is, my parents have died. Okay, I was sensitive enough that I was, I, I was duty bound and it was obligatory for me to sensitively pay their rights as long as they were alive. But now that they have passed away and they have died, are there still some rights of my parents which I have to fulfill? These were the people who were sensitive, extremely sensitive about the rights of their fellow beings. Prophet said he told him three rights. He said, pray for mercy and forgiveness on their behalf. The first right of the parents who are deceased is to pray for their mercy and forgiveness. Second, to fulfill, to fulfill the rightful will or the bequest they may have made. We talked about it in the orders of inheritance that it is allowed to make will or bequest of one's one third of the property. So if parents have made a rightful or a righteous will, then it is the duty of the children after the departing of the parents or after the death of the parents that they fulfill that will or the bequest they made. And to pay due regards to the relations of kin. And third, to be and fourth, to be respectful to their friends. So these are the four points Prophet said. I, I'm sorry, I said three previously. There are four things: to pray for them, to uh, complete or fulfill their righteous will, and to be nice and generous and kind to the relations, to their relations of the kin, and to be respectful to the friends.